my background is in banking. So while I was working as a young banker, I it got to a time that a lot of the top positions were being filled by very exposed, experienced professionals. And I thought of why not adding some value to myself. So I opted to do a master's, which I was fortunate to have done with the London campus of Ulster, which was partly funded. So I did that some years back, 2014-2015. Fortunately, I, I excelled, <laughs> had a distinction with it. So it kind of gave me the impetus that um, I can do further when it comes to academia. So I came back home, did, worked with an insurance company for a year, then decided to get involved with research because I realized that uh, from that part of the world, there's that gap between industry and then research. So I applied for a funded opportunity at Ulster. I went through a series of interviews. Eventually, I had funding to do the program. I have done some teaching as part of the PhD program. And for me, it was a very golden opportunity uh, that I taught for a whole semester. I was supposed to be doing uh, teaching assistant, helping with tutorials and then seminars. But as fate will have it, the lecturer I was assisting was pregnant and then I had to fill in. So I actually had to lecture as well, took both the lectures and then the, the seminar sections, which was fantastic. I started a bit early before September. So I had a one-on-one -on -one induction, but by no other person than the head of the doctoral college at the Jordanstown campus, uh, Jackie Riley, very friendly. She received me, introduced me to my supervisor, one very amazing gentleman, Dr. Martin McCracken, so I had a one-on-one -on -one induction in my case, which was fantastic. And I would want to add that after the doctoral college this, this induction, Ulster also University also has an international student experience department, one we now call global experience department. So I was introduced to them. And then from there, one thing led to the other. So my ground was a bit softened, settling in at Ulster, yeah. PhD is more or less a research program which we could consider as a project because it has a time frame. So for a full-time PhD, uh, per the standards of the UK, that will be three years. And then for a part-time, we're looking at between five to six years. So, and with my experience so far, when I ever come across undergraduates or master students, it's like, oh, Isaac, you're doing a PhD. It's like, oh, you should be an, a genius. You should be so intelligent. And I laugh and I was like, that's one of the qualities of being a PhD, but it doesn't make you superhuman. You need other qualities. Basically, you need to be committed to your project. So as part of the PhD, you have timelines where you are involved in a particular research where you are drenched into it. So the danger here is that it could be a bit isolating because it is you and your supervisors. So you have frequent meetings with your supervisors. Per the calendar of Ulster University, the first assessment you do is your first 100 days as assessment. When that is over and done with, you then do a confirmation assessment. So on a normal day, I probably will be working on my research depending on the stage I am in. So the early days will be reviewing literature, reading more about your area of research. But then we might get into this a bit detailed later, but Ulster also has the research development program, which is a very, very fantastic structure, helping with the development of PhD researchers at the university. So within it, we have a, um, a framework or a working area called the PhD manager where the doctoral college would advertise different kinds of workshops and training. So you pick and choose depending on the relevance to your research. Wide range of programs 
to help in your development, right from how to even write as an international student. The university has this um, um, program that allows you to enhance your writing and verbal skills as part of the PhD. As a PhD researcher with All Star University, I've been exposed to a number of very, very beautiful opportunities. For me, one very important opportunity is to participate in the First Steps in Teaching program. You don't see this in a number of universities internationally. So what the First Steps of Teaching program does is to introduce you to a, a career in academia if you so may walk that path. And this is a postgraduate certification. It is a 21 hour credit program. So with the permission of your supervisors, you are actually trained to be a future researcher or a, P, a lecturer, if I may use the word, which for me is very, very handy. That is one. Another opportunity I've been to serve on the doctoral board. It's given me much insights into how the university or the doctoral college is run, enhancing my expertise as a, maybe a future leader, who knows? Then there is the PhD festival, which is done annually. It gives the opportunity for PhD researchers to showcase their research, either through representation or through poster uh, presentations as well. We had one not long ago, which was a success. So amongst other things, there's a 3MT competition. This, for me, as a business researcher, a typical PhD will be around 100,000 words, which you're supposed to summarize in three minutes. And if you want to enhance your verbal communication skills, or even your summary skills, I think it's, it's a very beautiful opportunity. We've had the chance of speaking to experts to, to enhance our skills when it comes to communication. All these are good. Come August, I'll be doing a presentation in Dublin, an international conference. So working closely with your supervisors, you have the opportunity to tell others about your research. All this for me are very, very significant uh, um, opportunities as part of a PhD program. Uh, I will say that the PhD for me has been very, very beneficial and I would encourage and urge anyone who has the interest to pursue research, even if not in academia, in industry, because there are a number of industries that have research institutes. I, I believe it's very, very important. Uh, on top will be the people. Uh, we come to do a PhD for a certificate, but more importantly, the people you meet, the experiences I've shared, the locals I have integrated with. One of the main things I enjoy doing as part of my PhD is to play football. So on, on Jordanstown campus, there's a very, very fantastic sports center where I get to play in, indoor football, a game I love, meeting nice people, having a very good crack, and then all that. And I would say that my personal development in terms of my knowledge, skills, and abilities to a very large extent has been enhanced. I can say that although I'm a few months to my graduation, I can confidently say that I understand the process of conducting robust research and then making an impact. And I believe wherever I find myself, I would be in a better position to contribute my quota to the development of whichever institution I, I, I get employed in.